Hello, today we are going to talk about how you can dominate in a single area, therefore becoming the expert and taking your way to success pretty quickly as you start your real estate career. As you can see, I've got a little bit different of a background today. We picked a bush at the local, um, we picked a bush, that is terrible. I should not say that. <laughs> As you can see, we're in a little different area today. I'm actually shopping with my oldest daughter for homecoming and it is the middle of the week. One of the things that I absolutely love about being in real estate is creating balance in my life and being able to spend time with the people that I love. If I've not met you yet, hi, I'm Heather Blatz, Florida real estate broker, coach, and investor. I've had the honor of coaching hundreds of real estate agents as they begin their real estate career and venture into investing. If you haven't yet, please take a second and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Let's get to it. So you wanna become successful. You've got your real estate license. You've watched my videos on how to market and what to be doing to make sure you are not wasting any time and that you're actually putting people under contract. So today we're gonna to talk about where can you focus immediately immediately and begin to really see some benefit in your real estate career. And my suggestion is picking a particular niche or expertise. What I mean by this is, let's just say you're in an area like here on the Emerald Coast, we have a lot of condominiums. Now there's different reasons why people purchase condos and there's tons of different condos and I'm talking hundreds. So how can you become the expert when there's just so much out there? You start by doing this. Pick one condo that's the closest to you. So we've got a condominium likely is gonna have, I don't know, 50 to 100 units in it. And how you become an expert is by doing these three things. Number one, use your local MLS to find out who's been selling the most condos in that area over the last year or two. Call them and interview them. Let them know that you're marketing for buyers in the area and that you have some questions about why people purchase these types of condos. Are they looking for an investment property solely or do they wanna live their half time and rent it out the other half? Or is that condo mainly primary residence? Ask them why somebody would buy in that condo versus another condo nearby. Number two, go ahead and use one of the many resources out there where you can find telephone numbers and owners and call them. Tell them that you are looking to market that particular condo and you wanna know why it's so special to them. Why did they buy in there and what are their favorite things about that condominium? And number three, do your research on the amenities of not only the condo, but the local area. How close is it to the beach? How close is it, is it to other entertaining and dining facilities? And last but not least, once you do it with that condo, go ahead and start calling condos that are neighboring that particular area. Become the expert in one condo, then one area, then one city, and then you can broaden into other cities. What's gonna happen is you're going to start picking up by buyers and sellers. And those buyers are only going to look at that condo, they're gonna to want to look at other condos. And just with the natural flow of this activity, you're actually going to be forced to learn more about other condos and the area. It's getting bright out. The best benefit of specializing or becoming an expert in a single area or a single location is that now you are going to have a platform to teach. You're going to be able to offer value to other people out there. You've got social media platforms and email platforms and you can actually become the known expert in why people purchase your particular niche. So I'm gonna give you one more example before we close out today. When I started real estate, I had a huge desire to learn how to flip properties and how to invest in properties. And so I really began with the formula I've mentioned before. I started calling sellers and I started calling agents that already specialized in this just to learn. Then I began to do it and then I began to teach it. Other niches could be things like first time home buyers, calling all the lenders and finding out what programs are available. Every lender is going to be different. So it's important that you start dialing local lenders to see what they have to offer for first time home buyers. I would also suggest to find you somebody that fixes credit. With first time home buyers, sometimes the reason, you, you can hear all that. So loud. All right, so now I gotta figure out what I was saying. 
<laughs> Another niche could be first time home buyers, calling all the local lenders and finding out what products they have to offer first time home buyers. Another niche could be house hacking, finding out the price range in your area where the younger generation may like to purchase a property and offset expenses by renting out rooms to friends. The list can go on and on. As you can see, the formula is become an expert by making phone calls to not only people that own those types of properties, but to other realtors who can become mentors for you and then becoming the expert in the area around you. I will tell you the key to success is consistency. At least stay committed to that particular niche for at least 90 days. I promise you, you will see results. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and comment. I would love to hear your feedback. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our channel for more videos like this. See you next time. Oh wait, would you wanna, what do we do for a, um, yeah. I'll just do like a side curtsy thing, it'll be funny. <laughs>